Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So you've been out of school for a while and you want to start studying for your FE exam, but you have forgotten how to study effectively. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys seven tips that will help you regain your study skills. Oh yeah, everybody now. Tip number one, prepare everything. So the first thing you need to do is get everything ready. Obtain the reference handbook and the specifications from the NCS website. Then create a study plan and including roughly how long you will be studying for the FE. And you can download some of our study plans here to get you started. Then you should gather all the study material that will help you to learn the subjects. Now this will depend on your budget. So if you don't wanna spend a lot of money and you want to know what material to use, for under a thousand dollars go ahead and comment below fe material and maybe i'll make a video on that next and if you want more in-depth courses that will increase your chances of passing the fe exam go ahead and check out this video here and then you can also block out time in your schedule for studying every day and you can learn more about time blocking here now tip number two to-do list Prepare a to-do list for what you'll be studying the following day. Be very specific and realistic. In your to-do list, you should include which problems you'll be studying and which study material you'll be using. So when you show up the next day, you'll be ready to start studying right away and you'll be more efficient. Tip number three, remove all distractions. During your study sessions, don't check your email, don't go to social media, and don't talk to anyone. The first day is going to be hard to sit and study because you haven't done it for a while. And you're going to look at problems and you're not going to process them. And then you're going to find ways to distract yourself to avoid studying. And this is why it's very important for you guys to remove all distractions during your study sessions. By the way, guys, if you find any of these tips helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. Moving on to tip number four, sit through it. When you're studying, if you find it hard to focus, I recommend just sitting through it and powering through. The first couple of days, don't try to learn or do problems. Just think of it as a warm up. You're just getting your brain mentally ready to start studying again. And the thing is, we get frustrated when we experience this, but it's normal because you haven't studied hard material in a while. So be patient and you'll get there. Recently, I had to switch tasks from managing my team to creating courses. And guys, the first couple of days, I struggled. It was hard for me to focus and without checking my emails, Slack, and my phone. So the first thing I did was delete everything from my phone and I would close all tabs in my computer. So then when I would sit and do problems, when I got stuck, I would just sit there and do nothing, right? I wouldn't check anything. It's just part of the process. And eventually I started to gain more and more focus. Tip number five, mental priming. If you are using a book to prepare, then go to the first chapter and read the concept. Look at the problems and solutions, but don't write anything down. Just skim through it and try to engage with the material. If you're using a course, then go ahead and watch the lectures and the problems. And again, don't write anything down. Once you're done with the section, then go back and this time try to solve the problems without looking at the solution. The thing is, you haven't seen this material in years and you've mostly forgotten it completely and you have to learn it again. So you have to get yourself familiar with the material again and prime your brain. Once you do that, then you can try to solve the problems on your own. You learn faster this way. Give it a try. Let me know if it helps. Tip number six, cheat sheet. Make sure to create a cheat sheet as you're studying and make sure to review it a week before your exam. Here are some things that you can include in your cheat sheet. Steps for solving a specific problem or using a specific equation. Important concepts or equations that are not on the reference handbook. Common unit conversions that you use frequently. And you can also add common mistakes that you make during your studies so that you can avoid them during your exam. You can also download our 30 page long cheat sheet here, which has really important concepts and equations that you need to know for your FE exam. And the last tip, which is my favorite, is review sessions. Because it's been so long since you've seen these concepts, incorporating review sessions into your schedule is key. It will help you reinforce the concepts you've learned and you can also redo the problems that you got wrong to make sure that you understand them. Many of our students have added review sessions into their schedule and it's really helped them pass the FE exam. Give it a try and see if it works for you. 
Remember guys, the beginning is always the hardest part of a journey, but once you start, it will get easier every day. However, you have to make sure that you can study at least one to two hours a day without getting distracted and you have a good focus. Because studying is just like a muscle. What happens to muscles when we don't work out for a while? They get weak, right? Same thing with our brain. Try this for two weeks and then assess. Are you grasping the concepts? Are you able to solve the problems on your own? Are you making progress? And if the answer is yes, then keep going. If not, stop and ask yourself what you can do differently to make sure that you are learning. Because if you're not learning, you won't pass your FE. And so many students keep doing the same thing, hoping that it will be enough to pass, and then they stay stuck in this journey for years. So don't waste your time and ask yourself why you're not progressing or being productive. Here are a few things to consider that might be affecting your progress. Maybe you have a lot on your plate, or you're afraid to fail, or you're not sure if you can pass because you've been out of school for a while, or you keep beating yourself up for waiting too long to take this exam, or you get frustrated because you can't remember the material from college, or you keep getting stuck trying to figure out the author solution, or maybe you don't have good study material. Whatever it is, once you figure out the problem that's affecting your learning and your productivity, then you can find the solution, start making progress, and get closer to passing your FE. If you guys need help with your FE preparation, feel free to leave a comment below or you can reach out to us at hello at engineer.com. Also, make sure to check out our courses. They could really help you be more productive and pass your FE faster. You'll have over a thousand videos and I walk you through all problems, step-by-step -step solutions in a video format. You'll also have a dedicated team that will help you answer any questions that you may have. You can learn more about our courses in this video here. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine! Oh yeah,